morning happy new year it's officially when you guys see this vlog it'll be 2024 today is december the 30th so it's new year's eve eve and i'm just so excited to be going into the new year with a fresh start yes i'm one of those cliche people's new year new me new vibes new go all of that okay all of that and basically what we're going to be doing pretty much this weekend and for the week is just figuring out because i still don't know exactly i haven't mapped out my whole 2024 but we're going to get it together before this weekend is over the kids are staying out in the country with their great grandma this weekend and so i have some time to myself but also with aaron and we're just going to be kind of chill but also productive okay catch the vibes i'm really just getting ready for the day i have a lash appointment at 12 they could squeeze me in thank god okay even though i know my lashes will come up in two seconds but we're not even gonna get into that but a part of me getting ready for the new year was like i just want to get myself together so i want to get my lashes done i need a pedicure so we're gonna get a pedicure today and then i'm about to rake through my hair and kind of like refresh it because the girl who does my braids she is overseas for the entire month of january so i won't be getting my hair done until like the middle of january because i did find another writer but she was out of town for the whole month of december and then her books were already full till january so anyways we're starting off like this hopefully it gets better okay so girl like i said i'm getting ready i wish i had some like new year new me motivational speech to go along with this but i really don't but the way that i'm gonna plan out my new years i hope will be helpful i'm really hoping it will be like a game changer for just me personally for like getting my life together because i feel like last year i was just so chaotic and all over the place and i couldn't get a grip i'm consistent it's just i don't even know how to explain it okay what's one thing i'm gonna work at i need to work at being more articulate when i speak but then that would require me to think before it comes out of my mouth and then it's like that feels pre-planned so i ain't gonna do that but let me put my little headband on too anyways i just got this really big calendar not the one on tiktok if y'all been seeing that but I had that idea and then I saw the guy with the really big calendar, but I didn't want to order it off TikTok for $50. So I got a $12 desktop calendar. There's something in my sponge. Hold on, y'all. Sorry. I'm using a new face wash. Now that my acne has pretty much, you know, calmed down and I was out of the cleanser the dermatologist gave me, I'm just going in with the one that esthetician gave me. My only thing is like, it just don't be lathering real well but it's like a bar and it's for hyperpigmentation yeah girl so i got the big calendar or the desktop calendar and i'm just gonna take off all the pages and i'm gonna put it on my wall downstairs in my office and then i'm gonna map out my 2024 and then what i'll probably do instead of leaving the calendar on my wall in my office is just convert it over digitally but i find that it's so much easier for me to see things visually first to really map out the year and what I hope to get out of this, because I'm visual, seeing my my whole year already mapped out, I feel like will just be so much easier for me because then I can have reminders for myself of like, okay, this is coming up, so you need to pre-plan for this in like a month. Because I know if you remember like last year, also if you guys don't know me, allow me to introduce myself. Okay, if you're new to my channel, new you, new me, new us, new twins, I don't know where I was going with that, but I'm just going to introduce myself one time in the beginning of the year. Okay, my name is... I hate saying my name out loud. I don't know why. My name is McKenna. I'm 24, turning 25 this year. I have three kids, Carter, Carson, and Carmelo. They're six, four, and one. And Melo will be turning two soon. I live in Dallas. I'm from Dallas. I'm a hot mess mom who just over shares on the internet about her daily life and we go to Target a lot. And that's pretty much the vibes. A little self care here and there. Yeah that's that's pretty much the vibes so anyways i what else about me fun facts i am still dating my middle school sweetheart don't ask me are you gonna, why are you not married this year hopefully <laughs> hopefully but anyways because i know that's coming i also have a podcast speaking that into existence hopefully it'll be out before you guys see this vlog but i'm really passionate about talking a lot and being a mom and good vibes so i don't know how else to describe myself mm, 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 mm. but 
Okay, back to regular scheduled programming. You're supposed to leave the face wash on your face for a couple minutes and let it sit. So I usually will brush my teeth while I do that, but I already brushed my teeth this morning because I've been sick and I woke up with sick breath this morning. It was disgusting. This is caramel water, if you don't know. My favorite flavor currently is the berry cherry flavor, but it's like a probiotic water, and I'm not currently taking any probiotics in my routine because I need to repurchase some more, so I'm drinking it in the form of this caramel water, which I absolutely love for lots of reasons, but let me rinse my face. I'm just gonna update y'all on my skincare once at the beginning of every month so we don't have to do it all the time, but I've also been on an acne journey and I struggled with hormonal acne and I finally ended up going to the dermatologist last year after like having really bad outbreaks and getting a lot of hyperpigmentation. So I am currently taking spermalactone and doxycycline for my hormonal acne. And then the other biggest thing that I have from the dermatologist is my hydroquinone, which is for dark spots and then my tretinoin, but I use these at night. And then my nighttime cleansing routine is just using an oil cleanser with Tatcha and then going in with this, like a double cleanse, letting it sit for a couple minutes, rinse it off, tret, and then my moisturizer is this CeraVe. And I feel like I really cracked the code. Well, I didn't crack the code, but the dermatologist and the SD really cracked the code for skin. And I'm trying to help my brother right now too because he has hormonal acne from like being a teenager and stuff. But if you have really bad acne, unless you're just like opposed to taking medication, you don't want to take medication at all. There are so many sites that you can get your medicine prescribed to you on if you don't want to go to the actual dermatologist. If you have insurance and you can go to the dermatologist, um, I'm not. It's not. Might not be a little bit cheaper, but it's the the most expensive things are the medication. So if you have insurance, it makes it more affordable. I feel like if you're really at your wits end with your acne, you should go to your dermatologist. Something else that I've learned on my journey is. If you pair your routine that you get from the dermatologist with an esthetician because I feel like there's a lot of like you're either here or there like you stick with your SD's routine or you go to the dermatologist but when you combine both together that's what helped my skin and stay consistently clear and be like the clearest that it's been since I was a lot younger so I go to my esthetician once or twice a month and I get what is called microdermabrasion which is basically like a deep exfoliation of your skin but it helps to remove like that dead skin and the old marks that are left behind and when you use that with retinol you can't use them on the same day together but when you're using retinol consistently and it's speeding up your skin cell turnover when you go and do that it just lightens up the mark so much and like brightens up your skin and just evens out the tone so that's what i've been doing as like my whole skincare regimen and tinted would recommend and i've gone through a ton of products a lot of dermatologists a ton of estheticians to finally get to yeah okay so yeah anyways for the rest of my morning skincare i alternate between vitamin c and epiduo which is like a dappling and benzoyl peroxide mixed together which is also from my dermatologist but you can buy this over the counter at target you can get like different gel or the benzoyl peroxide little gel that comes in the containers in the skincare aisle but if i'm breaking out i'll use this to help with my breakouts but if i'm not and I'm not right now, and I'm trying to just really work on brightening up my skin. I use a vitamin C serum. I don't, okay, there's a couple of vitamin Cs I like. So I like, there's a vitamin C off of Amazon, and it's, what is it called? I can't think of the name, but I'll try to pop it up on the screen if I, I mean, I know what it is, but I just can't think of the brand name. And then that one's pretty inexpensive, and it works well, and it's good for all skin types. But I kind of just like switch right now and go back and forth depending on the time of the year. So right now I'm using the SkinCeuticals. It is really expensive. I do like it. Do I think it's maybe worth all the money? I don't know. I do like it though. And then Pro Heal is another one that you can buy from Esthetician's Office, and it's expensive, but I like that one as well. That one's another really good one. But they are hot. So I'm always trying out new ones. And then I'm gonna go in and moisturize my face. I think the key to using retinol in your routine is just making sure that your skin stays really hydrated because a lot of people will get breakouts from retinol or their skin barrier will get damaged, which has happened to me, but that's because you don't properly hydrate your face. Like even at night, you need to follow up with a moisturizer or like slowly build the retinol into your routine to kind of avoid all of those side effects. And once I started, moisturizing keeping my skin moisturized i stopped having all of the 
purging from the retinol and the skin barrier being damaged and red and raw and all of that. So I go in with some, um, whatever this is, thermal water. Your skin's supposed to be moist whenever you go in with like, I don't know if this is technically hyaluronic acid because it's snail mucin, so I don't know if it's a difference, but they're both hydrating, right? So girl math. Anyways, that's how I came up with that concoction. <laughs> And then I'm just gonna let it dry down before I go in with my SPF. And I know for some people this seems like a lot of products, but it's a really quick and simple routine for me. And it's like what my skin loves and has been flourishing on. So, yeah. And then I'm gonna go in with the Cetaphil facial moisturizer with sunscreen. I found that when I started combining a moisturizer and a sunscreen, I'm almost out of it. It it just works better for me than trying to put on a moisturizer and then trying to put on a sunscreen. And this one from Cetaphil is dermatologist recommended and it doesn't break me out and it has no white cast. When I put it on my face, it's gonna look a little white, but it's just because the product is white, but it dries down clear. Boom. Okay. Now I'm gonna let all my skincare sit and we're gonna do my hair. Okay, I'm done talking. I'm giving, trying to give a tutorial. <laughs> Back to regularly scheduled programming, but I just wanted to like get that out of the way. I'm basically gonna go section by section, so I'll probably save y'all the agony and time of doing it with me, but I do wanna talk just a little bit because it's like, you know, new year. I like looking back at my vlogs from the last year too and then seeing where I was at and all of that. So this year for the last, I wanna say like at least, at least minimum the last six months of the year, I had nothing but braids. My hair last year or the year before last. Anyways, I had a point in time where I cut all my hair off, dyed it blonde, dyed it blonder, then went back black. So my hair is super damaged and fried and it's finally, coming back to life. So I've just been keeping my hair in braids and like protective styles, which is what I plan on doing for the rest of 2024 as well. And just until my hair gets back to a good length and it's in its natural, healthy state, because that's just personally when I like my hair the best is when it's in a healthy state. And I have obviously curly hair, but I never really have like worn my curly hair down or like styled it much so it always wear it in buns so i don't know if i want to be a straight natural or not once my hair gets back healthy or if i'm gonna wear it curly but right now my main focus is just getting my hair back to good health and um a decent length right now it's like right here but the last four inches of the ends are dead so i'm just working on in between my braid trimming a little bit more and more every time i get my hair braided which is why i don't really see a lot of like length retention but i'm cutting off the dead ends in between there the style of hair that i get because i always have questions right now i have medium boho braids with two bundles of caribbean curls and the hair I mean, it looks a mess right now, but it usually looks better than this when it's done. But anyways, my braider, she provides the hair, but I believe she also sells it. And her Instagram name is Ruthless Styles, but I don't know if that's what it will be in the next couple months because I think she's doing a rebranding. Anyways, I have not been properly caring for the curls, especially this last time I got my hair done. So they're all tangled up and in the rats. Nice, because I mean, I've been sleeping with my bonnet on, but it's best to sleep with your hair in two braids and all that good stuff and then wrap it up with a scarf as well, but I have not been doing that. So now I'm about to sit here for probably about a good 30 minutes and detangle this mess and listen to a podcast. Okay. And then I'm just going in with the Garnier Fructis leave-in. I've used a couple different leave-ins for the boho braids and I really feel like it doesn't really matter. I just pick mine based off of like fragrance honestly because I want my hair to smell good and because a leave-in is really going to mostly do what a leave-in needs to do. Especially with braids. If it was my natural hair I'd probably be more picky because I have a low porosity hair and my hair doesn't like everything but these curls kind of will take to anything, any leave-in so. Okay. 
I'm gonna finish this and then I will come back and talk to you guys. I'm gonna do the calendar thing today before I go to my lash appointment because I have a couple hours because I think it's 8 a.m. Well, it's probably 9 now because I took a shower and stuff, but it's on like 9 o'clock. So we'll work on the calendar for a little bit. Anyways, okay, so I did plan like a mood board for January. So I think what I'm gonna do every month at the end of each month is plan a mood board for the next month. And the mood board is really just to show me, not really goal oriented, but like just what is my personal style, aesthetic or vibe gonna be for that month. And then like pre-plan out outfits, date nights and stuff like that. So that's what I did. Um, so I'll show you guys the pieces because I ordered most of the stuff off Amazon because I was just being lazy and I wanted it to come fast and I didn't feel like searching for like specific pieces. So I'm going to show you guys like the inspo versus the pieces that I got to put together for the outfits and then I also picked like nail color for the month because I'm doing press-ons right now and I don't care what nobody says, the press-ons do not last. Well, you know what? No, let me say I don't care what anybody says. If they last for you, cool. They don't last for me more than maybe a week at a time. That's max. So I went ahead and just already ordered a couple sets of the same press on so I can have those for the month of January. So I'm going to show y'all what the vibe is here in a second. Ooh. so much better i'm gonna put a little bit of oil in my scalp this is what i use for edge control if you're not using this you're welcome pick this up and you will never use anything else again go a couple blogs back waterproof almost if i lay my edges right with this they last all day okay aren't y'all so proud of me it's been two years and i finally have kind of somewhat learned how to lay my baby hairs now that I said that, I'm probably going to mess them up, but... And they're really grown out. Once they start getting grown out, then the braids are not fresh and it gets a little bit harder. This, it's the Olive Oil Super Hold Wig Grip Gel. Okay. I started to split this middle one in half because it's getting to be too much. These little pieces curl up, but I don't really care about that because I can't... I'm not about to try to tuck them under the braids and all that. I do want to show y'all how much hair just came out these braids though when i just brush them of the excess okay laid and slayed i don't know if i'm gonna do a side part or a middle part yet i'm just gonna let the hair dry i feel like the camera never picks up how these curls are so cute i wish my natural hair was just like no my natural hair goes out instead of down so it doesn't matter how long it gets it just gets like bigger this way it never grows <laughs> it never grows down <laughs> ah okay something well it's not like new that i've been using but peppermint oil whenever i wear this in my hair i get the most compliments about how my hair smells and i don't know if it's just because like a familiar smell or what or maybe just because of the essential oil peppermint oil which is also good for stimulating your scalp and hair growth but whenever I have this in my hair, Aaron will always be like, oh my God, you smell so good. When I go get my facials and my lashes done, the girls will be like, you, your hair, like it smells amazing. And it's this peppermint oil, so in case anybody wanted their hair to smell good. Okay, let's get a massage it a little bit. Ding, 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 ding. Put things back where they belong. Clean up your countertops. I think I've learned that not cleaning up the countertops after yourself is like the equivalent to boys leaving the toilet seat up. Do you know how irritating that could be? And then I just think about it, like, I'd be like, Aaron probably is so annoyed if he comes in the bathroom and the counters are messed up. Because he literally has three things in the bathroom, a toothbrush, deodorant, and a, a brush. 
and that's about it and then everything else is like always my mess and then i feel bad so i've been trying to just be more organized for myself as well but then it also makes me think like okay because he's he's not one of those guys who leaves the toilet seat up or like pees all over the toilet seat he's really good about it. like i don't have to like say oh you forgot or you know so i'm like okay let me be mindful of the other person that i also share a space with because i think sometimes i just forget that like he even uses the bathroom and i'd be like whatever 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 so i'm trying to be more mindful of that okay anyways i got some new lip products while we're getting ready i totally forgot about all this but okay so i caved did i tell you all this in the last vlog i don't know if i did i think i showed y'all but i don't think i tried them out so i caved and i bought some of the dior lip glosses i've never tried them before but everybody kept hyping them up and then i also got the salt hair lip balms that just came out so i feel like the only ones i have to try now are road and topicals that i feel like have been like super popular i did already try the salt hair and i'm not gonna put it on i guess i will and then i'll wipe it off just so y'all can see in case anybody is curious but okay here's the clear one it's clear it's clear i feel like for the price cool it's like eight bucks so it's like significantly more inexpensive than a lot of the lip products that are on the market but i do not like the smell i do not like the smell at all it does not smell good to me i do not like it it smells like play-doh i don't know what it is okay the color though is very pigmented i didn't get all the colors obviously i got the brown so if you're looking for like a really pigmented brown gloss i feel like the color of this is pretty i don't personally really like dark on my lips unless i'm kind of done up and have something else on my face but I feel like the brown is a really pretty color. Again, the smell just smells like Play-Doh. It's not like a horrible smell. I just personally don't care for it, if that makes sense. But this color is not really that cute on me. But I feel like on a girl who can do like a nude lip combo, it would probably be really cute. I'm just gonna wipe it off so we can do the next ones. Okay. The Dior lip oil, I love the texture. My favorite thing about it is the brush. The application feels amazing like this brush superior for forty dollars though I don't know. and then i also got the shimmering brown like plump one which i really like because it's not too brown but it has a little sparkle so it's like giving okay a little date night sparkle sparkle sprinkle sprinkle you know what the girls be saying but anyways yeah that's just like a little update on those lip products that i got currently so saltaire yeah for the color yes texture basic smell like play-doh i don't really like that so I don't think I'll probably repurchase it. Um, we'll see about these. I do really like the brush on this, but for the price, I'm just like, eh, I don't really know. So, I still really like this, but I am now addicted to these. Just because I feel like they're super light and they're not as heavy as like the Glotion that I was using before, but still give like a little tint. But it just gives me a little bit of color back. I know some people mix it with their moisturizer, but I personally don't because i feel like it just dilutes the bronziness or the color of it and then for my eyebrows i've been loving the rare beauty eyebrow stuff i don't know it goes on like it would be super liquidy but then your brows get like immediately stuck i do want to try the refi because everybody says the refi is really good too but i like this for right now when this runs out then i'll probably try the refi but it just feels like they, they wouldn't stay because the texture of it goes on not runny but anyways they're stuck now they're not gonna move it's like glue and there's no white cast or anything so anyways if i had my lashes done this would just be my everyday little is it no makeup makeup it's not makeup so i don't know this is how much hair came out of the boho braids can you go i was like they're gonna look so thin but they still they still look a little full so we'll see let me show you the outfits that I picked. I'll pop up on the screen the inspo picture for the outfit that I was going for. It's not the exact same because, again, I couldn't find those exact pieces. So I just went on Amazon and searched what was similar to the item. This is the one I'm most excited about because I have a dress from this. It's a brand. I don't know if they're on Amazon. That's all I know. But it's like a little spaghetti strap dress, but it has the built-in shapewear. I have a long sleeve version of this that I wore Valentine's Day of last year, if you guys ever saw that vlog. And I really like it. The material is really nice. It sucks you in. It's giving hourglass. It's padded, so you don't have to wear a bra if you don't want to. And then the straps are also adjustable, and it's long. So I got that to wear with this, is it called a shrug sweater? Anyways, it just goes on like this. Then you put the little strapless dress underneath 
cute right i don't when i ordered this on amazon it didn't look like this to me in the picture it looked kind of mesh almost but it's actually black so i got a black dress to go with it instead of wearing brown which is what the inspo picture has because it was like neutral colors layered on each other but i couldn't find one that matched this and vice versa so now i just have this brown dress i'll find something to pair it with at another time and then the second outfit i only got the pieces that i needed for some of the stuff like i already have the jeans i'm not gonna get the jeans off amazon so this one is a long sleeve what is it mock neck bodysuit i think i got it in a medium but i probably should have got it in a small because it looks like it's gonna be a little bit big let's see what the size is okay it doesn't say i can't remember but here's the shirt and then the inspo picture had a sweater with buttons but i couldn't find something similar so i was really just looking for the color and the neckline and this is what i found on amazon so hopefully it'll be cute okay and then the last thing that i got was this sweater dress i'll have to try it on to see if it's actually gonna fit i'll probably try it on later well i'm not gonna change right now i just don't feel like it but it's a turtleneck and i was just gonna pair it with like thigh high boots and then an oversized puffer jacket which is kind of what the inspo picture has and i already have that so the only thing i need to go shop for is maybe i want to get some new jeans so i want to go to american eagle see if i can find some just cute jeans for the new year and then i need some thigh high boots to go with my sweater that's pretty much it i need to wash everything i still have laundry over there that i'm just like but okay let's go downstairs Ignore with background. I'm gonna move this in a second, but I'm gonna start putting the calendar up on the wall. I'm basically just gonna line it up in quarters. So like the top row, it's gonna be like three by four. So like January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. And I'm just gonna tape it on here. And this is gonna be my big calendar. So I got this light for the podcast, but I don't even know if I'm gonna end up using it or not. It's called a um, softbox light, I think. I seen somebody on TikTok recommend it if you needed some lighting or whatever, so I got that, but I haven't really been using it. Uh, this is what the calendar looks like. Like I said, it's just a desktop from Tala Jelly, so let's put it up together. Tell me how to have you seen nothing. It was about five minutes ago. When I seen a hottest chick that a young and never seen before. I say hell, tell the girls I wanna meet up. On second time, that ain't the way to go. I gotta deal with game proper. Spit it so she get it, then she is, I gotta stop her. Or should I talk about a smile? Or what about a style? I'm out of time. Okay. It's up in all its good. Oh, it's glory. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write all of the hard dates, like things that are not going to change. Holidays, time off from school that the kids have, birthdays, events, things like that on the actual calendar. And then anything that like, okay, I want it to be this day, but obviously it could change life. You know what I'm saying? Because obviously I'm not going to be able to stick to every single little thing that I want to put on there, but I can move the sticky notes around. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm about to do. I'm out of breath, I don't know why. I gotta get into shape. <laughs> okay, okay, I started it. Y'all can't really see too, too much like what I wrote because the color is light, but I put a couple post-it notes up there and I think I'm just gonna leave it for now how it is and then I'm kind of referencing basically the digital version that I already started. If you can't see it, I'll just probably screen record it and put it on the screen, but it's basically the whole year but I already just started going in and putting dates. So I put in all the hard dates and then I put a reminder a month before that date on a month before. So like Carmelo's birthday is in May. So in April, a month before or like a month and a half before I'm like Carmelo's birthday is coming up. So that needs to be the starting point of like when we're gonna plan it, what are we gonna do? And just so every major holiday, birthday or anything like that, I have a reminder on the calendar above to start collecting my thoughts about what I'm gonna plan for that and then i'm obviously just going to go into more depth and detail as i work on it it's not going to be like a sit down one day and then i know everything that i want to do but little reminders to put some thought into it because i think it's easy to just get in the cycle of okay focusing on the now and like every day and then the day comes and you're like or it's about to come and you're like oh my god you know what i'm saying so and then i'm gonna leave the one up on the wall too just because i think i like having the visual aspect 
of it right now but we'll see like I said I don't know if I'm gonna end up taking it down or not but that's what I'm about to work on before I get ready to go I have like an hour before I need to leave so I'm gonna work on my calendar put in any dates that I have for like work on my calendar and then go through my emails and then yeah we're gonna head to the lash studio where they're gonna be like girl you have no lashes this is not a fill and I'm gonna be like I know thank you Would it be insane if I told y'all I still remembered like my cheer from when I was like young? I used to be in competitive cheer and I still know one of the routines by heart. It's crazy. It's New Year's Eve and girl, let me tell you what a day it's been. Okay, first of all, we tried to go to Costco, right? We get to Costco. We load up two carts. Okay, two at Costco, right? You know, first time you go to Costco, you just have a ball you're just backseat princess today i'm gonna go to costco get us some gummy bears why this is for the whole point <laughs> look you can get twizzlers in bulk he loves twizzlers <laughs> okay let's go over here Okay, wait, no, no, we can start on this side, it's okay. Did you want some tobacco? No, I just want to go on all the aisles. Oh, look, see, fruit roll-ups. Hey. What were you supposed to do? Boom. Gum. Yeah. <laughs> Gum. Not that. This is the one I like. You can get the one you like. That's the one I like. Is it working? I can't tell if this mic is on or not. You want to do a Costco interview? No. Carson likes these. You don't understand the point of shopping. Oh, we didn't even get nothing healthy. Just bull crap. Okay. We get to check out. They're like, they don't take master cards. I said, what? I had lost my wallet while we were in um austin and aaron only had his credit card on him i said so we looking at each other i'm like oh my god what are we gonna do we just had to leave we just had to leave we had to leave our two baskets at costco i'm about to cancel my membership and go to sam's club because what they don't take mastercard unless it's debit i think i'm gonna go to costco and not use my credit card listen that's the one thing if you don't get anything out of it, use your credit card. I mean, if you use it irresponsibly, then don't use your credit card. But if you use it responsibly, get them points on your credit card, babe. I had to get Aaron to stop using cash, use the credit card, get the points, get the flight miles. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and guess what? Your girl just got approved for Amex. <laughs> Big girl credit card. Period. I don't know why I've been wanting one of those so bad. I just feel like it makes you feel like you really grown. And I got approved the other day. So shout out to... Amex, I'm gonna be in all the airport lounges, <laughs> okay? You get a lot of benefits with the Amex too. You can stay at like certain hotels, you have access to the lounges, just just other stuff. It do got a little bit of a high fee, but I feel like if we max out the benefits, it'll be worth it. Anyways, that was so off topic, but hey girl, New Year's Eve. We didn't do anything today, but try to go to Costco. That was a fail. She got back from Target and I got all this stuff behind me to make Rotel. So we're just about to slap it up together and put it in a pan. Because Aaron's cousin's going to bring another block of Elvita because we went to Target and it was sold out of Elvita. But I already had one block at the crib. So, I'm going to just ground the beef. I'm going to do it differently today. I'm going to cook it in this pan in the oven because I just don't feel like cooking it in the pot on the stove. I don't know. I just I just be seeing everybody on TikTok cooking in the pan. So, I'm going to try cooking in the pan today. So, let me show y'all the ingredients you need for some good rotel, okay? First of all, 
You need Velveeta, okay? You need Rotel, and you need the mild. Don't get this, the original. And then you need the diced green chili peppers. It's already some in the Rotel, but I like extra, okay? And then, well, I got more cans of Rotel and stuff, but, and then you need some jalapenos. You don't put this in a Rotel, but you put it on top of your chips once you make the Rotel, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm gonna grab my beef with my onions and my green chilies and give the meat some flavor. And then I also like to season it with taco seasoning. That's my little secret sauce. I know the little black girl, why? I hate when the camera does that because it'd be just doing it for no reason. Why are there black lines? I'm going to leave 2023 memes in 2023. Promise. But today I still got time. Okay. <laughs> and then, yeah, I'm going to cut up this onion. I want somebody to come record me doing like the very, you know, aesthetic chef cooking videos that you be seeing, you know, on TikTok and all that stuff. I'm like, Ugh. When they catch the onion, they slam it down and they slice it and it's all like high quality. Yeah, I have big goals. <laughs> okay, let's be for real. I haven't talked to y'all all day. I thought I was gonna be able to talk to y'all today about the Costco haul and all of that. And then it just didn't happen. Because of what, what, what didn't transpire? Oh. You want a mini Target haul? First of all, okay, if y'all know, by the time y'all are seeing this, it's gonna be way too late, so don't even try, don't worry about it. It's done. But Target had the Valentine's Day Stanleys and they released today. Why were there people lined up outside of Target at 7 a.m.? Y'all are ridiculous, ridiculous. Like, oh my gosh. And then we went to Target and I already knew they was gonna be sold out by tonight, but like, I, I knew the drop was today, but I didn't realize people were gonna be lining up at 7 a.m. to get a red or pink stamp. Whoa. Girl, relax. I just can't. I can't. I can't keep, I'm not going to Target to line up for an hour before they open to get us. Anyways, child. But they dropped. But they're gone. I wonder if they'll restock or if yesterday was the only day if they're like re put them out every morning or something. I don't know. We'll see. I'm just jealous because I want one, but I'm not going to wait in the line. Anyways, I got these little bubble candles. I think they're so cute for Valentine's Day. I'm not gonna really do a whole bunch of Valentine's Day decor, but I'll probably do something cute for the kids on actual Valentine's Day, like a little special breakfast or dinner or something like that, just something cute. So I got those little candles, and then I got this little string banner thing. Just gonna be simple. I might just put it on the table. You know what I actually learned about myself, which I'm really glad I came to this revelation, because I was like, oh, next year I'm gonna be in my hosting era. Like, no, I don't. I lied. I don't like hosting. I don't like having people over with the pressure of them having a good time. It's too much. I like gift giving, and then I think I took it too far and like broadened that into, oh, I like, uh, no, I don't. I'm gonna do a little cute gift. Invite me to your party. Guess what? I'm gonna have a cute little something for you. You know what I'm saying? Something creative, a nice little basket, an aesthetic something, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm good at, hosting and making like everything perfect and all the little details of everything. No. Yeah, so I'm glad I just got over that hump, you know? <laughs> new year, new me, baby. Cause last year I was really saying like, oh, I wanna be my hosting era, but I really don't. Like I don't mind people coming over to my house and like gathering, but I just don't like the pressure of having to have everything perfect and food and like, that gotta taste good, then you gotta have a good little drink, then you gotta have a little, little vibe, a little game, a little something. No. You just come over if you have a good time, cool. You know what I'm saying? It's just less, like tonight, everybody's coming over to our house for New Year's Eve just to eat Rotel and drink, but I don't have to do anything, you know, besides put Rotel in the oven. That's not a lot of pressure. Christmas was too much. I felt the pressure was getting wussy. Okay. And I'm like, I can do little cute things and aesthetic things at home with just like me and my family and my kids and then maybe one day I'll be good enough to host but right now no yeah. so anyways that was irrelevant we got somebody washed <laughs> I also said I've been having like such a quarter life crisis about I don't even know I don't even know I was gonna get into it at another time but <sighs> do y'all still want target hauls yes or no yes or no I just feel like my life has been very redundant for the last year and it's like I don't know I'm just kind of like ready to like switch it up so then I'd be like are the girls getting tired of me did I want to see this thing you know what I'm saying I don't know so that's why I really haven't been picking up the camera a lot like today I could have talked earlier but then you know like when I was getting ready and I was starting my day but I was just like damn if people really want to see who I hear you talk I don't know 
I don't know. So, anyways, <laughs> long drawn out. Soggy haul. This is the toothpaste we use for the kids. I've been using this really since they could brush their teeth. This is the only little toothpaste they've been using. Even though it says for ages 8 plus, but they still been using it. So, I don't know. I took some more floss because we were running low on that. And then me and Aaron ran out of the toothpaste from Lush. So I was going to go all the way to the mall to get the toothpaste today. So I just got some of this. I've never seen this one before. It's got hydrogen peroxide. Excuse me. I just ate like 10 pizza bagels. And then obviously I just got all the stuff for a row. Tell. But. Okay. Let's prep everything. I want to talk to y'all because I really did a lot today. Like not did a lot, but like did a lot on my phone and stuff as far as laying out because I wanted to do my vision board and all that stuff. But I'm not going to, my thing was like, oh, I was trying to rush to like do everything right before the New Year's. And I'm just like, girl, you just relax. Like nothing about my whole entire life and every goal that I want to meet is going to change overnight tomorrow because I did my vision board before the clock struck 12 you know what i'm saying so i just started it today and gathered a lot of pictures for my pinterest and then actually spent some time thinking about like what are my goals for next year because i honestly at the end of the year i did not have any goals for 2024 i'm like okay what can i say eat out less work out the same things i always say every year but i just want to dig like a little bit deeper and see like what do i actually want and then also just a mix of like letting god just do his big one you know what i'm saying like we're really not in control anyways but you know what something i have discovered about while being on my spiritual journey i'm gonna talk and do this at the same time but i don't know if y'all gonna be able to see me what anyways we'll figure it out hold on one second. I'm just... okay let me take this off now. should we do the meat? let's just let's cut the onion and cut the cheese and then we'll do the meat let's try the at our place knife i'm gonna have to cut some low cheese when she brings it I'm really just trying to get ahead of the game so I don't have to be really in the kitchen while everybody's here. Anyways, so things that I've learned about your purpose in life, I feel like everybody always gets lost because they're like, you know, you don't know, what, you feel like you don't know what your purpose is, but I feel like your purpose is whatever you have that God lays on your heart, it's like, it's not the same thing that he lays on everybody else's heart. So for example, like for me, I had a couple things that came to my mind when I was younger and now that I'm older and it's like, okay, do I want to be a nurse? Do I want to do this? Do I want to do this? Right. And all of those things obviously are placed in your heart for a certain reason, because everybody don't want to grow up and be a nurse. Everybody doesn't want to grow up and be a party planner, whatever I want to be, or be a firefighter, be a doctor, like people all want to be different things. And I think that's what God lays on their heart. So that's how they know that that's their purpose. And then if you have multiple things that you want to do, it's just kind of like, okay, you try it out. And then whatever works, is that what your purpose is? I don't know. I kind of feel like that's what it is. Like, I feel like we get really caught up on like not knowing and then feeling lost. And then, you know, that, that can be hard feeling lost. And like, you don't know what your purpose is. It's giving very much identity crisis, depression, like all of that kind of stuff. But I feel like it's more so just like, we have to stop trying to take it like so deep and realize that like, I don't know how to, y'all know I'm bad at saying what I really like, how I'm really feeling, but it's just God lays things on your heart for specific reasons. And that's why we're all different and everybody has different interests and hobbies and the things that they like. And I just think sometimes we go too deep and then we feel lost, but really my, we might've been on them whole, the right path the whole time. We just wasn't doing what we was supposed to do you might be looking at somebody else's life and then be thinking like oh that's what i want to do because you see how it is for somebody else instead of what god really put on your heart and what you really want to do you know what i'm saying did that make sense i can't tell but there might be multiple things you might have multiple purposes and your purposes might change as you grow and get older and go through different seasons in your life. But for me, for example, I was never somebody, which I'm not saying it couldn't be somebody's purpose if they were like that when they were younger, but for me, content creating and YouTube and stuff. Girl. I ain't never just grow up and like been like, oh, I wanna be a content creator. It was something so random that came to my mind one day. And I was like, I wonder if I can do that. And then I did. And look at me now. But I had no idea, you know what I'm saying? Like that's what I'm just saying. Like I think some things don't be you. you. It just be it just be God. Okay? Anyways. <laughs> Is it giving spiritual basics? 
<clears throat> I be trying to articulate myself and tell y'all how I feel without sounding delulu, but it's hard. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna cut the onion up next. That low key might be enough cheese. I just don't feel like it is. Okay, and then we're gonna do the ground beef. If y'all start hearing uh, shots in the background, it's okay. What do you think about it? Did Aaron just come back? Huh? I swear I heard the garage. Huh? The gym was closed? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are you mad at me? You gonna make some drinks? I can try. I can make a strawberry lemon drop. That's all I got. Anyways, y'all. We started watching the act, and I'm finna talk about you since you've been talking about me to everybody today. You. Yes, you would. Aaron is that person, like, if you text your friend across the room while you and a whole bunch of people, and you tell them something, and then they be like, girl, are you texting me? You know what I'm saying? And then say out loud what you said. That's, that's him. The non-discreet area out. Anyways. We've been watching Gypsy R or The Act, and we got what? One more episode left? Well, I got one more episode left. You fell asleep last night. Every time he go to open the car door up for me, <laughs> one of the characters in the in the show, he said, she says. Oh, no princess should ever open her own door. Oh, thank you. I wanted to just cut everything up so we could be ready to put in the oven. Yeah, they got something big. You think we could go see the fireworks? We could go on the bridge up here. Dang. I don't know what they have. Damn, loud. Some big gun. I, I wonder if y'all can hear that in the back. And then it's like, it's too early for that. It's it's not even eight o'clock or midnight. They gonna be out old, ooh. I'm going outside. Y'all hear that? Y'all hear that? Y'all hear that? Y'all hear that? All right, let's do two pounds of ground beef. I can't be, I can't vlog when he's here because I just can't take him seriously. Ooh, my freaking back. In other news, what else does your girl have going on? My body has been feeling like crap lately, and probably I know somebody's gonna be because all you eat is processed food. Da, 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 da. Okay. Well, I live in America, so yes, but <laughs> seriously, I am going to hopefully this, I'm hoping to do it this week, but I'm just gonna see what the availability is looking like. But I'm gonna do a whole self care day, but like not nails, hair, all that. I'm gonna get a colonic, get lymphatic drainage, and get IV hydration, and see if I can't like restart my body for the new year because she's deteriorating, like getting up. I don't know what it is, like my stomach is just like all messed up, everything, my body sore, achy, sick. I just, so hopefully we're gonna do all that this week, I'm hoping. And then also, we need to go to the dentist. So I'm going to try to schedule dentist appointments this week. Let's see if we can get that done. Should have done the onions first. I forgot. Should have sauteed them. I'm just going to put them in there with the meat. We're good about it. I need an automatic can opener. Okay. I'll talk to y'all in a little bit, I guess. I'm gonna go ahead and just cook. So I really got nothing else to say. I just, just be liking it's hot. That's all. So we are 
Check on me with a force, yeah Let's in the air, but we go, it's in our foot Go in the right, I'm boss Yeah, we give thanks like we need it the most Yeah, we give thanks like we're really supposed to be thankful Let's in the air, but we go, it's in I was gonna say good morning good afternoon it is tuesday it's the second and we're getting ready to go to the movies i just really came in to say hi really fast because i haven't talked to you guys pretty much all yesterday we had drove out of town to go oh let me make sure i got a lip gloss i have one in the car okay we drove to get the boys yesterday and then we ended up just hanging out around the house getting a little olive garden for dinner we're still trying to get back into the swing of things because the kids are not in school so i feel like my new year doesn't really start till next week you know what i'm saying as far as getting back on the schedule and stuff because Carter doesn't go back to school till thursday so yeah we're just hanging out we're about to go to the movies and see aquaman this is tuesday so it's two dollars they always leave every light on in the house cleaned up a little bit this morning i'm thinking about getting a coffee table right there in the middle oh and then i have exciting updates for the dining room coming soon because i feel like that's the one space in the house that i just want something different let me get my shoes oh i thought my shoes were down here that's why i came down here hmm. i don't know where they are the boys are waiting for me in the car too. I'm sure they're irritated. But I need to take a shower. My New Year's resolution, or one of them for this year that I want to try at, is not leaving the house looking a hot mess. Which would mean just the bare minimum. You know, like the same pair of shoes, okay? <laughs> and I think they're actually, oh, they're probably up here on the side of my bed. Y'all, this laundry is haunting me. I still haven't got it done. <sighs> that's pretty much everything that's on the agenda for today. We're going to the movies and then we're going to come home. Just do some laundry, chill. I don't know what we're going to do for dinner, but we'll figure it out. Oh, oh, TD. See, look. At least a matching outfit. I got the same shoes on and a little purse. And I laid my baby ears. I think that counts as being put together. So here's today one of sticking to our New Year's resolutions. See you in a bit. Tom Thumb and I picked up some stuff to make drumsticks and mashed potatoes, green beans, basic, but I'm putting it in the crock pot so it won't be done for a while. So I'm about to go ahead and start it right now because it's like 3 o'clock. But look. I saw a TikTok and somebody used these and I was like, oh, I have to have them. Because what? Butter balls? Okay, first of all, everybody knows I have not a butter addiction. But did I take a bite of one of these? Absolutely. I could probably eat this entire bag like I mean, it's just a convenient little way to like drop butter into your pan without like scooping it out or cutting the stick and each ball is half a tablespoon of butter okay y'all know i got my recipe off tiktok so i shall link it or play it on the screen for y'all but i'm just gonna put them in the crock pot and i think she just put it in there with a little bit of chicken broth seasoned it put butter on top let it cook for four hours 
and then we'll make the potatoes and the green beans probably an hour or 30 minutes before the chicken is done later tonight but i really just want to sit down and chill i'm starting to learn that maybe i don't have to take adderall in the morning but maybe afternoon when i start to have my afternoon crash because uh, now i'm sleepy the movie was really good by the way it starts off kind of slow i wasn't really feeling it in the beginning and i've never seen the first one but it was actually um ended up being pretty good let's so we gotta wash the chicken, I guess. Wash the chicken off. And then we're gonna put it in the crock pot. Ladies and gentlemen, there's something about this yeah. girl, man. From around my way. Well, well, well. Ever try to hold back your feelings? Yeah. Put it just for the same. It's a little dark in here, but we'll see if I need to turn the light on. I want to try on the stuff that I got from Amazon that I was telling you guys about. Because I'm like, okay, if I don't try it on, I won't know if I actually like it or not. So let's try it on because the boys are outside playing football and I'm like, why not? I also got these little black pointed toe heels from Amazon because I really like the ones that I have. These are obviously like, they're a little bit cuter than the other ones. But they're Dior and they're very expensive. So I wanted something similar to this, but not as expensive. So I just went on Amazon and found a pair because I only really wear them to church and I wear them with long pants. So it's just really that you see like the pointed toe part of it or whatever. But I have the cream and I want a black and I kind of want a brown color, but I didn't see a brown color on Amazon. So we'll see. But anyways, I got these little things to add to my collection and then okay if you guys remember a couple of vlogs ago last or last year <laughs> okay i had to do it one time um the red dress that i tried on at house of cbi i did end up ordering it in the medium because you guys convinced me you're like just get a medium and then wear shapewear underneath it and i was like okay so we'll see when it comes in but i did get full body shapewear or like full leg because my thing with wearing long dresses and wearing shapewear is i don't want to see where the shapewear ends on the thigh so i found this on amazon i don't know i think i got it in a medium i hope it fits i don't know if i'm gonna try this on right now but i did order that dress from house of cv and then another dress as well i already started shopping for my birthday dress the dress turning 25 i want to have like an actual 25th birthday party i'll probably travel somewhere too but i do want to have like an actual party this year and who knows my girls might be invited to the party. we'll see that's all pending but okay i want to try this first the black long dress with the shrug sweater because it's the outfit that i'm like most excited about and hoping that it looks cute okay this is the dress it's getting snatched I don't really know how well y'all can see if the lighting is horrible. I'll try to insert a picture, but um, it takes a little wiggling to get into because it does have the shapewear built into it. Let's see what this little, is it backwards? We don't know. Okay. Hmm. I can't tell how I feel because like this part of my chest is just out right here. Hmm. I don't know because I feel like it's supposed to be like this anyways hold on let me back up full picture moment what is it giving the inspo picture I think she wore it with sneakers but I don't know what I would actually wear with this I don't know if I like it or not because I don't know if it feels like it looks like one dress like all together because you can't tell this is a sweater like kind of looks like it like float I don't and then this part so I don't know how I feel I was excited about the little mostly just this like half sweater thing I think it's super cute but it's kind of like too half sweaterish like it needs to be longer maybe I'll try to find another one that's a little bit longer 
y'all let me know hopefully y'all will see this before i actually have to wear this out in public and then yeah i like the dress though dress giving body yada 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 shape wear okay let me turn the light this light is just so awful but this is what it looks like with the light on okay what do we put on next okay the first layer of the outfit is the bodysuit i don't know if i would wear these exact jeans with it but this is what i have for the moment i need to go jean shopping i'm planning on going to the mall either tomorrow or oh my gosh yeah because it's just whew. i don't know if i'm gaining weight or my pants are just shrinking every time they go i mean it's getting snatched here but then booty is screaming everything all the little pieces i got were from amazon if you didn't see the beginning part oh snap okay i don't know how i feel about this okay 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 pinterest versus real life <laughs> let's see if it can be trusted the sweater on the inspo picture actually had buttons but it was the same type of cut and then it just had this white mock neck underneath it it's a little wrinkly okay i pull it down in the back on the shoulders do we tuck it in or do we not tuck it in okay let me back up i don't know if it's because it's wrinkly i can't really tell if i like it or not i don't really know i don't know i don't know i don't know I don't know if it's the sweater or the wrinkles or the jeans or the way the sweater is cut like I can't tell whether I like it or not okay rate this one out of 10 and let me know what shoes would I wear with this I also do not know I think she had on white boot pointed toed boots with this I also need to go shoe shopping so we're probably gonna go to the mall tomorrow because mm, it's tomorrow or thursday but i need like jeans why is anyways maybe the lighting let's turn the lights down <laughs> the lights down low and see i don't know i just and it keeps gapping right here in the back and i don't know what that's about so i'm like okay do you pull it down a little bit is it look better like that a little bit off the shoulder more this okay right now pinterest is like not giving the vibes it's not giving the vibes i don't know how i feel about this it's not giving maybe i'll like them both separately like i feel like i would like the sweater but i just not into like the whole layering thing and then obviously this is just a white turtleneck bodysuit so it's like i can just wear this on its own with a little jacket or something here we go it's finally getting cold enough to wear this jacket. I don't know if I would wear it with this turtleneck either, but I love this jacket. I think this jacket is so cute. With some little Ugg boots, jeans, and then I would probably wear like a regular t-shirt and not the turtleneck vibes, but it's cute. The little black bag. Yeah, I like it. It's oversized. It's getting cozy, comfortable. Probably put my hair up. She's cute. The jacket's cute. Okay, oh, that wasn't one of the things, but I gotta find some different jeans because I'm like busting out of the seams on these. I look like, you know when you try to squish into your clothes? Yeah, also I will be getting lipo this year. And I don't really care what anybody else is say about it, you know what I'm saying? I'm not explaining myself anymore. I'm making decisions that I think that I will be happy with. And could I work out? Certainly. Have I worked out this far? No. So guess what? <laughs> lipo it is i'm gonna do lipo probably in my stomach my arms and this lovely chin that i have right here i really need to book it i just have been putting it off since last year because originally i was gonna go last year and then life happened and then i didn't know but yeah i'm gonna be skinny before my birthday i don't care and she might not be made in the gym i heard somebody say the other day that makes you lazy and you have no character I was, oh. I'll work out after I get the light bulb. Okay. 
lights back on. Alright, let's try on the sweater dress. See what it's giving. I can really just keep this on underneath it. Who's texting me? Okay. This is what it looks like. I'll let you guys see first. I haven't looked at it in the mirror yet and I can't see myself, so. What do we think? Everything's all wrinkly. I mean, I feel like it's cute. It's like oversized, so it's not giving like. I mean, it kind of makes me look like I'm built like a box, but. I mean, what's wrong with that? It's just a little sweater dress. I'm trying to see like if it was tighter, would I like it more? Like if it was giving. If it was a little tighter. You know what I'm saying? A little tighter. I just don't know what this. Th it's like creasing right here underneath my boobs. I don't know. Somebody style me. Please. Please. Okay? I don't. I really just don't know what my style is, honestly. That's why I feel like I'm trying like a little bit of everything. Obviously, I like wearing athleisure wear and like comfortable clothes, but I really don't know what looks good on me. Like, you can like a style. Like, my Pinterest board is filled with. Why is they doing it? Stop. Hold on. <clears throat> that little black running light is absolutely horrendous. Okay, anyways, Grala. Yeah, so, oh, I also put on my chrome press-ons, but the paint is already chipping, so not a slight, but back to the dress. I just don't really know what looks good on me, personally, and I feel like, now, I know some people are going to say it don't matter, but I feel like certain hairstyles go with certain clothing looks, and all I have is braids right now, so I can't, like, I don't know how to explain it. I don't know what my style is. Do I like this? Kinda. I feel like I need to iron it out. And it's already pulling. See? That's why you can't trust the Amazon clothes. Dang, I'm gonna have to cut it with some scissors so it really doesn't unravel. It's like a little s cut in there already. I feel like it has potential. What do we think? I have to try on some boots to wear with it though. <sighs> This is really stressful. I feel like I don't like any of the outfits and that was like, I thought that was like everything I needed. I gotta stop online shopping and go into the stores in person because this is normal gabbing. Tomorrow we go. Maybe we'll be able to get, let's just, we're gonna, I want to do my vision board tomorrow because I'm still like trying to get my life together. I um, mean, you know, it was just like slow, going a little bit slower than I anticipated, but I wonder if I could just wear this with some Uggs. No, it probably wouldn't look cute. I just feel like that high boot's gonna be too tall for this. The dress goes, the dress is like all the way down here, like almost on my knees. So I'm like, if I get thigh high boots, then the boots will be longer than, I feel like it could be cute for church, but I don't know where else I would wear it to. Somebody just style me, please. If you see this, send help, okay? Send help. <laughs> All right. Oh, actually, in the inspo picture on Pinterest, the girl has on like a big jacket. No, mine's a little bit bigger than hers. But I oh know this is kind of cute together with the little boot. Okay, this is giving. This is giving winter weather. It's giving cold, but it's giving winter. If I had some little boots on with this, okay, I gonna like this. Is it this cold in Dallas, Texas to have all this on? Absolutely not. But I got this jacket while it was on sale during the summertime for like a hundred bucks. And I was like, it's so cute. And I still think it is. It like goes all the way down to like right before the ground. Don't ask me where I got it because I don't know. It was on TikTok. And it was like from the UK or something. It was like the UK girlies. They're, they're really the ones that are the it girls. They have all the fashion stuff. They have all the good looks. I could see this with a little boot. It could even be an outfit because I'm supposed to be going to Colorado in February. So I was looking at clothes for that last night. Okay. Okay. Help her Lord. Yeah, honestly, if it's not a dress, I'm not buying any other piece of clothing because I just cannot put stuff together and it's not, even with the Pinterest, even with the Pinterest. I'm going to try these pants on though. I got these from, I mean, like while we're here, they're from Hollister. They came in my little YouTube PR package that I had got a while back. Let's see how they fit. They're like cream cargo pants. Well, they fit good. 
Okay. Not them knowing my sizes without me giving it to them. Slay. Everything in my closet is literally so wrinkly. I need to steam it, but... Okay, let me take the sweater off. Oh! I mean, probably wouldn't wear it with this shirt, but... Turn the light off. They look good on my butt. Okay, slay. What can I wear with these though? They're like cream pants. I don't know what I would wear with this. <sighs> I really need 25 to be my year. I need to learn how to dress. I need to be cute, giving grown. So something's gotta give. Okay, it's giving. I need to hire a style, but I don't like it. <laughs> Anyways, okay, 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 okay. <sighs> yeah, I don't know what I would wear with this. To be honest. <laughs> They're cute though. They're like stretchy, but they don't look like they would be stretchy. They've almost got like a velvety texture to them. They're cute though. Okay, slay. That did not go as well as I would have hoped. The only thing that I think has hope, honestly, is potentially the sweater dress and then this little sweater, but without this underneath it. So just like the sweater on its own with a pair of jeans. A little ugh or something because I do have two dates coming up this month and I need out like I, I need something to wear okay because they're both not movies or di even dinner I would still need something cute but they're not dinner dates so please send help me like if you see this immediately we need help immediately okay have mercy I'm not about to I was gonna say I'm not about to hang this stuff back up right now. I need to be doing laundry. I said I was doing laundry today, and yet here I go. I like this. Definitely will be wearing this. Jacket when I go to Colorado. Probably with a black shirt underneath, jeans, and my black Uggs. And a little, I don't know, I need to get a new fanny pack. I need, I want like a nice black fanny pack. I have one. But it's, ooh, it's like the worst thing I ever bought in my whole life. I regret it so much. Because it doesn't have a zipper, so it's not like super secure. So I can't like take it on the mountains and stuff. I don't want to take it up there. <sighs> Anyways, child. Okay. That was it for my little try on haul, I guess. I really thought some of that was going to eat. And it absolutely did not. Yeah, lovely. 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 To the mall we go tomorrow. We go Friday or tomorrow. Probably tomorrow because it'll be a Wednesday. Okay. <laughs> okay, because I've actually never tried this dress on and I want to try it on really bad. So I'm just like, might as well. I'm about to try it on anyway. So I was like, might as well come back and get the girls. But let me unbutton and take this off first. I can do a dress moment. The dress is cute. I always like dresses. Even though I'm not like super girly, I just feel like sometimes. I don't know, I have to start styling my braids differently so I feel like they are a little bit more feminine and they fit the more girly aesthetic, but okay. This is cute. Now, I could see myself wearing this to one of the places that we're going. So this might be a contender right here. I'm trying to line it up straight. It doesn't go straight. Okay. Lovely. And I could wear that long shapewear under this too if I wanted, except for it has like, there are little holes right here, so I don't know. We'll see. I get that light bulb by tomorrow. No, I'm kidding. Okay cute she's cute shoes I don't know what shoes so I got these but the dress is not all the way to the ground it stops like let me move y'all down so you can see where the dress stops you see it's like right there on the ankles I don't know if these would be cute with this I have some red bottoms, but I, yeah, I see. These will be fine for church and stuff because they look, because I can like put the little long jeans over them. Like I really didn't want them to like, they didn't need to be super cute. They just need to be closed toed because I don't want my toes out at church when it's cold. That was the only reason why I really bought these. I have, I don't know if I like the pointed. I'll insert a little clip because I'm looking in the mirror with them on. But I don't want to wear strappy. I feel like the shoes are just giving old lady. They're cute with the right thing, but just not with this. But also, it's going to be winter time. So, what am I going to do? Wear open toed shoes in the middle of winter? Like, that just doesn't seem reasonable. You know what I'm saying? 
Anyways, I need help on the shoes. Because all I have is open toes. Black heels. I have these. They're like the same, but they're just a little bit shinier and they have a different cut on them. Because they're Louboutin, but I can't walk in them. Okay? And I messed them up the first time I wore them. I'm like, oh, they're too high. I can't walk. The shiny looks better though. All right, to be determined. I'm counting on y'all, so please send help. Thank you. The date where I feel like I could wear this, I don't need till the end of the month, so you have a little bit of time. <laughs> but somebody needs to help me. Thank y'all. Today. It's Wednesday morning. We're headed to. I really want to go to the mall. Where are we heading? No, what's up? Right, I'm interested. I don't know how I feel about it. I saw this lady on TikTok come here because she went to all the breakfast burrito places and then rated them 1 through 10. And it's just her number one. Is yours good? Sure. I want some of my spine. We did a wee bit of shopping, yeah. <laughs> but we're back home. We came back and we took a nap because it was Carter's last day before he went back to school. So we just spent some time with him. Um, I did get a couple of things, so I'll show you guys a little bit later. I feel like it's nothing really that exciting, except I did get the little outfit from House of CB. I thought it was cute. The price tag was not. Anyways, I'm contemplating returning it right now because I'm like, oh my God, why was this so expensive? Originally, I was going to do no spend January, but now look at me. Okay. It really be the fact that I just never go to sleep 
and that's how all my online shopping happens because I'll just be up all night and then I'll go down rabbit holes like last night I was like planning out Valentine's Day and I was like okay I need this for the kids and I want to do this and then teacher gifts so I'm like adding a whole bunch of stuff to my cart and before you know it it's a million dollars I'm like whoa 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 relax I also wanted to do like some cute Valentine's Day decor in the kitchen just to like give a little you know girly vibe but I don't know yet we're gonna see we gonna see because I'm trying to make fart, fart, smart financial decisions, okay? Oh, speaking of that, we need to go get my pictures. I finally printed out everything that I want to put on my vision board for 2024. And I like printed out little images from Pinterest and I got them printed out at CVS. I need to go pick them up. So we're probably about to go do that here in a second. And then... I'm also gonna do prayer letters instead of a prayer necessarily board because I feel like that's just kind of like a vision board. So I'm gonna write letters. I saw this idea, I think on TikTok or Pinterest, but it was really cute. And you just put like all your little prayers for the year in envelopes and I wanna do that. So that's what I'm gonna do as far as like my prayer stuff. And then I'm gonna do my vision board and my visuals on another board. And then tonight for dinner, we're gonna be cooking. I'm doing good at least. Okay, we're day, day three It's a no takeout. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna do beef and broccoli so i'm dethawing the meat right now in the sink and i'm about to just get out all the stuff that i need to cook uh, maybe i should just wait till i cook because it's probably gonna be a while i'll probably just wait until i get back because i think i'm gonna run by cvs really fast and go pick that stuff up and then come home and i started doing like my like nighttime routine before the kids before I cook dinner and all that because I feel like it just gives me like a break in between my day like transitioning I didn't work a lot today but saying I usually work during the day and then the kids come home from school and then I do all of that stuff and then do my nighttime routine but I kind of like doing it in the middle of there that way I can like reset do a little self-care and then do dinner and then Aaron usually puts the boys in the bath and then he goes to the gym again once they get ready for bed so I'll actually go in there with them at bedtime put their lotion on, put the oil on their scalp, and lay them down after we eat dinner. So that's probably what we're about to do. Spend a little evening with me. Let's go to CVS. Yeah, because I low-key forgot about that until I came in here and started talking to y'all about it. So let's go run by there for the traffic. It's too bad. Okay, let's talk about this, the whole, we're gonna get into, but this right here is what I really need to tell the girls about. Okay, so I've tried Solterra a couple times. Not usual, not really a huge fan of all of the fragrances. Baby, this right here, they need to bottle this up into a fragrance, a lotion, a scrub, everything. It's, it smells like pineapple champagne that's the best way i can describe it it's like so tropical it smells delicious this one is the golden hour oil infused nourishing body wash this is definitely going to be a summer scent i'm like uh, addicted to it and then i was up last night and i was like "Ooh, what can i find to pair with this so i found a couple of things that i can pair with it but I haven't completed it just yet, but stay tuned because your girl's getting back in to get ready with me. So, may or may not have a new little routine for ya. I also smelled some fragrances when we went to Sephora, and I do not want to spend the money on the Tom Ford Vanilla Sex, but baby, when you just smell it in the bottle, it's like, eh, it's okay. When it dried down on my skin, I was in the car like this. Just smelling myself and I'm not even a huge vanilla person oh my god it smells so good on me I was like ew they might get the money for it they might get the money for it also can we talk about how I feel like these chairs are the problem like I brought these chairs into my room and I really thought I loved these chairs I do not like these green chairs y'all I don't and I don't know what to do I don't know what to do about it because I'm <laughs> I've been rearranged and picked so many for so much furniture anyways okay let's get into the haul so not the first place that we went, but we went to Lush because we were out of toothpaste. So this is the one that we use. It's the, the toothpaste jelly, the white wild mint spearmint. I just like it because it has like oils in it and um, it just really gets your mouth fresh and clean. I don't know how to describe it, but it's worth a try if you ever want to try out a new toothpaste. And it's clean, clean ingredients. Okay. And then they gave us some samples. 
This is the Sultana of Soap. Maybe I'll try this while I'm in the shower. Just open it up. Well, let's see what it looks like, actually. I'm assuming it's just a little piece of a bar. Yeah. It smells good. It looks like this. We'll probably try that out in the shower. Okay. They gave me also a sample of Honey, I Wash the Kids, which is a kid's soap. It kind of smells similar, but a little bit sweeter. Maybe I'll try this on the boys tonight. And then, girl, Aaron was with me and he was like, oh, you have the guy who's checking us out. I was like, oh, you have the beard. This is the Kalamazoo. It's a facial and beard wash. And he said it was really popular. So he gave it to Aaron so he could try it out. So we'll see if he actually tries it out or not. All right, I went to American Eagle. They always get me in those little lines where you're checking out because why were these so cute? They say cherry coke on them. Oh, right there on the top. And I don't have a pair of socks. I don't own a pair of socks. So whenever I wear socks, I just steal errands or the kids. But I thought these were cute just for like around the house because I don't have any slippers right now. My, I beat up slippers, like house shoes, I'll wear them down. And I had to trash my slippers because they were put in washing. Like I tried washing them, no. Okay, I tried on the jeans and I ended up getting these with the stretch, curvy, straight, medium, destroy, stretch, and the regular. Out of all the ones I tried on, these were the only ones that I liked and I was really disappointed because I want to start wearing more jeans going into the new year just to give, you know, less of a leggings and sweatpants everyday type of thing. Just like put on, you know, a little slum slump, slump. Okay, give mom vibes. So I was hoping I'd find a more jeans at American Eagle and I didn't. I might do some online shopping at Good American maybe. That's the only other place that I know to like get jeans from. If you guys have any jean recommendations, let me know. Then I went to Zara and I got I found two sweaters. I thought this sweater would be cute for like church or a little brunch look. It's giving like preppy vibes. I don't know. We'll see. But it has a little gold button details. I'll show y'all a little bit closer. I got that in a size medium. I'll try to link the stuff if I can. I was trying to see if the code is on there or not. Okay. And then I thought this was getting Where's Waldo, but it's cute, so I don't care. I might wear this on my little my little day date that I have next week. It's cute. It's got this distressed, torn bottom. Can y'all see that? I don't know. You see, like, on there, and then it's also on the sleeves as well. And it's, like, cropped, but not overly cropped. Like, you could get away with wearing it with some high-waisted jeans. And it's got a turtleneck on there. I thought it was so cute. So that's what I got from Zara. I also didn't really see a lot in there. I don't really like the Zara at North Park. Shout out to Brianna because I met Brianna today. And Louis Vuitton. Slay girl. I actually saw a lot of people today, but I didn't get anybody else's name. <clears throat> There was a lady in front of me and she was at American Eagle, but she had her baby and I was like, <clears throat> I peeped the vibes. Okay. Then half the CD. Y'all saw what I got. So I got them in the regular length, but they're still a little bit too long for me. So I'm going to go get them taken. Is it in or down? A little bit at the bottom. I don't know. I'm still debating. Because then I got it and I was like... Because I really like the way it fits on me. Like, it flatters my body really well and it looks really nice. But then I was also, okay, it's giving, when am I going to be able to wear this next fall? The pants are heavy, so it's not giving summer. And then what kind of jacket do I wear with it if I wear it in the winter? I started overthinking it as soon as I got it and I was like, dang. Okay. And then this is the little corset top. I didn't try this one on. I tried to put on the medium and it wouldn't fit, so I got the large. So I'm just hoping that the large fits okay. If it doesn't, then I have to return it. I should have tried it on, but I figured the medium was almost there, but the lar but it wouldn't uh, close all the way. I don't know. I, I feel like that Aaron was trying to play me, because I'm like, how I get a medium in the bottoms and a large in the top? It's usually giving vice versa. You know what I'm saying? Okay, and the last thing that I got was this wallet our card holder from Louis Vuitton, which I really want to throw up because Aaron got it for me last year 
for Christmas because I lost it last year, right before Christmas. <laughs> and then I literally lost it again. And I was like, I don't even, I shouldn't have even got it. I might return it, I don't know. But I'm just so used to carrying it because that's what I keep all my cards in. And I just got my first big girl credit card, my Amex, and she needed a little, you know, nice new home. But this is what it looks like. It's the black and white monogram. And look, this one already looks like it's, oh no, it's just the seams. Okay, I was gonna say, it already looks messed up. Listen, I don't have no shit. I'm about to start getting it from the gate. Cause I'm sure it was like $5 on there. They just overcharge everything. I'm gonna put an air tag in it this time so I don't lose it. If I don't take it back, we'll see. I'm having like buyer's remorse right now. If you have 10, cause then I got on Amazon right when we got in the car. And I was looking up like black card holder wallets that are like less expensive because I'm like, I'm gonna throw up. It's just cute to me though. I just like the Louis Vuitton monogram, honestly. I really do. I just think it's, I think it's cute. So that's everything we got in our little haul. <coughs> I'm gonna go take my shower now while the boys are outside because once they come in, they'll get in the shower and stuff and then we can start on dinner tonight did i tell y'all what we're making for dinner we're making beef and broccoli Ooh, maybe not actually i keep forgetting that i keep getting all these crock pot recipes and then forgetting how long it takes to make food in the crock pot i might just have to make it on the stove but i don't know if the meat is going to be as juicy and tender that's one thing the crock pot is good for okay that meat is going to be fire let's I'm gonna put this in there. I'm just gonna try it out just to see what it's giving in the shower. And then I don't want to use this yet because I still have other body washes in the shower, but it smells so good. I kind of want to just like try it out. What do you think? I think we should just try it out. It almost reminds me of the way St. Bart's, but it's a little bit more pineapple y. It's a little bit more. They're both very tropical vacation summer smells. <sighs> this was a blind buy, too. I just got it because the packaging was cute. It smells <laughs> so flipping good. It's a blend of, pa okay, passion fruit. Okay, it's a lip lipid rich oil blend of passion fruit, seed, and some else. I don't know, I thought I saw pineapple in there. Maybe it's passion fruit that I'm smelling. It's not pineapple. Okay, I take it back. It's passion fruit and coconut oil with the vitamin E. making beef and broccoli in the crock pot so it's actually going to take a little bit longer than i initially anticipated but i have enough leftovers to feed the kids so me and aaron can just eat it for dinner apparently somebody's not having a fun time okay the creator's name for the recipe that i'm following is mallory hudson on tiktok and it's like this crock pot Okay, 
Okay, I went and picked up my photos from CVS, but I think I'm gonna have to reconfigure some of them and print them as a grid instead of as an actual four by six photo, which I don't know why I didn't think about that before. That way I can fit everything on my actual poster board thing that I'm using to make my vision board. So I'm gonna try to cut some stuff to see like what I can salvage. And then the rest, I'm probably just gonna put in categories and make a board on Canva. If I make it before I, this video goes live, then I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. But, and then it'll be like a little bit condensed, a little bit smaller and fit a little bit better on the actual vision board, I think. Yeah, and then I'm gonna do my prayer envelopes probably either early in the morning, tomorrow, or just sometime when I have some like quiet time to myself. Everybody will be back at school tomorrow, so I'll be a little bit more into a routine tonight but the boys are all in bed they're all laying down winding down watching a little tv we've extended their bedtime by an hour so they don't go to bed at seven anymore they go to bed at eight i guess yeah we've got the crock pot still going i just added the slurry so it has been another mm, hour 15 left and i have to put the broccoli in the last 30 minutes so hopefully it turns out good and then also make the rice but yeah hopefully it turns out good right now i'm just about to sit on the couch and eat some ice cream and kind of wind down i was thinking about cutting my pictures i might take these over to the couch and just like work on it i'm gonna probably watch married some medicine for a little bit eat some ice cream and just kind of chill because i do want to go to bed before nine and i feel like my biggest thing is i like to watch tv at night because i feel like that's the one time of the day i get to watch tv and i'm a big tv watcher and because I want to go to bed early. I'm like, okay, let me get my TV time in now. And then once the food is done, we'll be good to go. And then I'm gonna make a sleepy girl mocktail. And I also got some new stuff to sleep with. I got like mouth tape, a little nose strip, and I have my humidifier, but I actually need to clean it out before I turn it on. So I'm not gonna use that tonight. But once we get done with dinner and stuff, we're gonna go upstairs and oh, I need to finish my skincare too. I want to start incorporating icing back into my routine. Maybe I'll also ice my face while I sit on the couch. Ice my face, eat ice cream, cut these little pictures up for about an episode, and then we'll get back into getting ready for nighttime. I remember when we started texting. I was playing it cool, you was flexing. I know I wasn't the only one you messed with, but it was good. I was on to the next one. I remember when you started checking, checking out. it's thursday this morning we're just kind of getting back into the routine of things and we filmed the first ever episode of the podcast which you guys will not see before this vlog you'll see it after this vlog so if you're not already subscribed i'll link it in my description box but it's the tell me how you really feel podcast with me and my baby daddy that's just my babe okay anyways i got these sunglasses from amazon slate or not yeah okay also on another note which ones are cuter i feel like they're two different vibes but i'll show y'all why i got the sunglasses probably like a little bit later we just finished filming the first episode of the podcast though so i'm just editing it's been a work day i woke up got back in my morning routine spent some time with god this morning which felt really nice i've been still praying and like reading my daily verses but i haven't been sitting down and journaling and all of that so today was really nice all the kids are back at school today so i finally feel like we can get back into a groove now that i have my new evening routine thing going on let me close these i feel just a lot more 
confident in myself and I feel like I'm finally getting out of the end of the year rut that I was in or maybe like out of vacation mode. So yeah, I just ate lunch, had some ice cream because I'm about to be on my period. So I'm literally craving every single thing ever. It's always that first week before I'm actually on my period, like the PMS week where I experience all of the cravings and like wave of emotion symptoms or whatever. I'm about to start editing it and see how it looks. It took us a while to get warmed up into the podcast and then there will obviously be things that we fix and change going forward But I think it's gonna be cool. It's just gonna be something low-key. It's not a lot of pressure on it I feel like the podcast is like my hobby right now. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, I don't really have much to do today I was supposed to go with one of my friends somewhere today, but she's taking an exam tomorrow and I haven't heard from her So I was like, I'm just gonna let it be and it's almost one o'clock in the afternoon anyway So that means we'll be getting into the whole evening routine here shortly and I don't know what I want to cook for dinner but I'm probably gonna get on TikTok and find something I like putting stuff in the crock pot but also I've been really enjoying going to the store daily to get the ingredients that I need to make my dinners which I know is not for everybody and it's not for every stage that you're in in your life but right now I'm in a soft girl era and I have like a little bit of time before we go pick up the kids from school where I run by Tom Thumb and just grab whatever I'm feeling like making that day because me, my biggest thing with meal prepping is it'll sound good to me in the moment and then I don't want it anymore later in the week. So I'm like, hmm, what do I want today? I don't know. But that's the beauty of being able to just go to the store and get enough food to make that one meal and all of that so and then tomorrow we're gonna get into our full-blown reset day i'm trying something new on the weekends where on fridays i kind of reset the house and do what i would normally do on sundays on fridays or like saturday sunday that way i can have the whole day saturday to like hang out with the kids and you know just be more present instead of spending my saturdays cleaning because that's what i do a lot right now but i'd rather do it while the kids are at school i'm gonna try out fridays see how it goes and then sundays are really my off day i don't like to do too much on sundays for real for real so yeah we'll get into all that obviously tomorrow but right now i'm about to look over the video but also schedule some appointments because next week i've got to do something about just me internally and like i don't know i just feel like i need a good cleanse but am i gonna do like a juice cleanse or a diet no i mapped out what i feel like is gonna be perfect as far as like some wellness maintenance for myself next week so i'm gonna text my waxer schedule my wax and then i'm gonna get a lymphatic drainage massage to try to just like help get all the toxins and all the icky stuff out of my body and then after that probably the same day like right after that i'm gonna go get a colonic so then i can flush everything out and then i'm gonna go get iv hydration to replenish my body so i don't feel like crap i think it's gonna be fun it's gonna be interesting i'm hoping that it'll like revive me and make me feel like a whole brand new woman but we shall see so anyways i just wanted to come check in with you guys so i'm talking to you today Probably we'll see you later tonight for dinner unless something else interesting happens, but I highly doubt it. It's just a regular old Thursday, so. Oh, I do need to print off my... I ended up doing what I was telling you guys about last night for my vision board, and now I need to reprint out the pictures so that I can place them on the actual board and then hang it up. Maybe we'll do that this evening. The first appointment that I'm going to book is going to be my wax because I heard when you go get a lymphatic drainage massage, they... You're naked and I don't want them seeing my coochie all. Oh, it's time for me to get a wax. That's all I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? So I want to try to start this whole process on Monday. Hmm, no, I usually like to reserve Mondays for if I need to work so then I can kind of like get it out the way. And then, but I, mm, no, nah, I could probably get my wax Monday or just put a question mark. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this all in one day. I'm going to text Talay. That's the first step is to text her and see if she has any morning appointments available on Monday because then I can go to her in the morning. Each thing probably takes about an hour plus like 30 minutes of commute. But if I could do it all in one day, that would be nice. Like bus, another club, another club. You know what I'm saying? An appointments marathon basically is what I would like to do. And if I could get it all done on Monday, that would be awesome. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it done. Because I got to film. I don't know. Yeah, I might try to do everything on Tuesday. 
instead. That way I can just film on Monday. Yeah, so she doesn't even have anything till 1 p.m. on Monday. Girl, I need like an 8 a.m. appointment, okay? Or I'm gonna just have to go to her late Monday night. I just don't like doing stuff after the kids are home from school. But I guess I can now, technically, because Aaron's home. I'm just trying to figure out my, well, what I'm gonna do for next week, because I have my whole life planned out for the next couple months, too. Okay, she's going to be gone on Tuesday, so I'm going to have to go to her on Monday. So maybe I'll do wax Monday evening and then appointment Olympics starting Tuesday morning. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Okay, well, that's not going to be until next week anyway, so stay tuned for next week if you want to see. I got a colonic once and I really did not. It's not that I didn't like it, but it's just a weird feeling, but it did clean me out. And it made my bloating subside so much. Greens help clean you out and stuff, but I feel like I just need like a really good like flush. You know what I'm saying? All that holiday food, eating bad, just everything, child. Okay. Anyways, all right, that's all. Hey. I've had sick babies, so I haven't seen you guys in a couple days. It's actually Saturday, and I think I was telling y'all about this earlier in the vlog, but I saw this trend going around on TikTok, and it was like the headband and sunglasses effect, and I've always been looking for a way to wear my braids but my hair out of my face if that makes sense so i don't have to constantly touch it da, da, da. and i was like oh i can totally participate in this so today i feel like it's giving the vibes because i have like an all black sweatsuit and then i just got some cheap sunglasses off amazon a headband i don't know about the glasses 100 percent, but i'm gonna put my black uggs on later this is what we're i don't know i got okay let me show you the second pair of glasses that i got because i really can't tell which ones i like i don't really say i just recharged the batteries or recharge these lights i got these can we do a little vote what do we think i don't know if i like these better or the bigger frames better i just don't really like sunglasses on me in general because should you see my eyebrows should you not see my eyebrows anyways but i think the headband is cute i haven't done my hair yet because i'm still getting ready it's like 12 something in the afternoon but i'm restarting my day because not that i've been unproductive but i just didn't get a chance to take my shower and all of that so i actually need to brush my teeth finish putting on my skincare which is just the last step which is sunscreen and then we're getting ready to head out and run some errands we gotta go to costco because we couldn't do that because baby was sick yesterday he stayed home from school with mellow he's feeling much better today though he's taking a nap right now so i'm gonna go basically run errands with my friend we're gonna go to costco sephora and then also to walmart because she's about to move and she needs to shop for some home goods items and stuff like that i'm trying to move y'all around but my problem is i really just need to go get a different tripod but i'm not feeling the vibes right now okay we brush my teeth really fast and then we'll continue to catch up Okay, we're back. The lighting. I don't like always having the lights on. I don't know why. I just like getting ready kind of in a moody vibe. But for the girls, I'm going to turn the lights on so it's not so dark. Okay, let's do a little skincare. Look at my lashes, y'all. They're already falling out and it's been like five days since I've had them done. But that's okay. I found a new lash tech, which I'm super excited about hopefully she doesn't um her books don't get filled i just messaged her to schedule my appointment next week so i'm just gonna let all these fall off and then i'm gonna start over with a new lash tech she specializes she prioritizes lash retention and i'm like that's what i need because everybody else just want to slap something on and send you out the door and i don't want to have to go every week and if i do have to go every week i want it to be my choice and not like i have three lashes left so that's not on that okay back to what we're doing let's put some little glow drops on the skin my face has been doing so good you guys and i don't want to jinx it but because i'm about to be on my period that will be like the telltale of how my skin is actually doing like if i start to get like some more hormonal or cystic breakouts in the next week or so but i haven't been taking my medication for the last probably two three weeks not purposely i've just been forgetting and then i got out of the habit of doing it so i stopped taking it but i haven't had any hormonal breakout so i don't know if it did what it needed to do and just rebalanced out my system or what does the color look weird on camera i can't tell i feel like it just looks glowy in person but now i'm looking at the camera okay anyways oh, i'm not gonna actually do anything because i think tomorrow when i get ready for church i'm gonna do like a little makeup look 
or whatever. I lost a fingernail already, y'all. So sad. Mm. I also like the eavesdrops by Fendi. Maybe what if I mix them together? They're kind of like the same thing almost, but... Have y'all been seeing the trend go around of the 10 year old Sephora girls and it's like the iPad kids all grown up? And then I saw another perspective that was like, Sephora is a store for kids. If you're 25 and over, you shouldn't be shopping at Sephora. I said, oh, well, good thing I ain't 25 yet, girl. <laughs> they were basically saying drunk elephant and Tatcha and all that kind of stuff is just, I don't feel like, I don't know. I just don't see how kids are, people are, I don't know. If I had a little girl, she'd probably be spoiled, but also spending that much on a child's skincare that's 10 years old, who like doesn't need skincare is kind of absurd. And then somebody was like, <laughs> the Starbucks, if you don't know what I'm talking about, search it on TikTok, but like the Sephora daughters, their moms are the ones lining up for the Starbucks cups and fighting over Stanley's at Starbucks. And I was like, no shade, no tea. That, that sounds like pretty big, pretty accurate. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. If I had like a whole bunch of free time on my hands, I would probably, or if I was like younger, I might line up to get the Stanley cup or something, just as something like, Fun, but the way people were physically fighting each other over the cups um, was a little ridiculous. But I did want a cup, I'm not gonna lie, but I wasn't gonna wake up at 3 a.m. to get in the line outside Target. That just seems kind of ridiculous. And then people are reselling them for like double the price. I'm like, it's a cup. I'm gonna get me a Simply Modern and call it a day. I'm sure they'll drop like a pink or Valentine's Day something and it'll be 20 bucks. Get it on Amazon or Target. Yeah. Anyways, I'm just ranting at this point. I'm about to clean up, put clothes away, whatever you want to call it. I need to put my laundry away. And I have plans to be super productive yesterday and today and like get the house all cleaned and organized. And then the baby woke up on Friday morning and he wasn't feeling good. And I was like, cancel all plans. I'm sick now because if my baby's sick, that means I'm sick. That's mom math. <laughs> Why it's making that noise? Oops, I'm so ready for, well, I'm just ready for next week. We're doing so many girly fun things. I'm switching up my content next week. So this might be the last weekly vlog that you guys see for a while. It's gonna be just, just go along for the ride. Trust me, the month of January is just gonna be like an experimenting month. If y'all don't like it, we'll go back to weekly vlogs because I don't mind doing weekly vlogs. I just kind of want to switch up the vibes just try some new stuff, you know what I'm saying? So stay tuned next week. I'm really excited about next week's just for y'all to see the video. Also, I'm not gonna have any specific uploading schedule for this month. Every Sunday, I'm not gonna say I'm gonna upload. So if y'all didn't see this on Sunday, that's why. But I should be uploading more frequently this month than just once a week. Hopefully that will make up for it, but I just want to give the girls, who, you know, who are here, who care, who are invested, okay? A little heads up. But I think you guys will be really happy with the content. I'm excited about it. And I think it's something that we'll all enjoy. So, yeah. Gotta take my hair down soon. Put a little leave in, a little mousse. I really need some thicker headbands. But that's okay. Anyways. I feel like I had something else important that I wanted to say, but I can't think of it. As soon as I get on camera and I get to talking about one other thing, I'll be forgetting exactly what else I was going to say. But yeah, we got Costco, Sephora, Walmart. I think that's it. I'm about to leave probably here in about an hour. So my goal before I leave is just to get the clothes put away and pick out the boys' clothes for the week and for church in the morning. Oh, and I need to go pick up the stuff to finish out my vision board tomorrow. I'm excited. Okay. I'm excited to go to Sephora. Even though I don't, maybe I'll do no spin February. Because January's already, it's already shot. And I smelled this perfume in Sephora the other day. It was the, I think I told y'all, the Tom Ford Vanilla Sex. Oh my gosh, I can't get it out of my head. And so that's why I feel like I have to get it because fragrances don't really get stuck on my head. I really like Scarlet Poppy 
and gypsy water and a few others besides that nothing really just be like mm, like i gotta smell like that you know what i'm saying do our eyebrows really fast i want to try to find a bronzer why not sephora and get some new makeup brushes i'm gonna have to wake up so early tomorrow if i want to do my makeup with you guys church i, I gotta figure out what we're gonna wear i really wanted to go to zara too but I just went to Zara. I don't dress up a lot, but my one day that I really step, and I feel like we can step as a family, is Sundays at church, like matching outfits, coordinating colors, something. Can't find my eyebrows. I don't know what we're gonna wear to church tomorrow, but I'm about to look while I'm putting my clothes away and then try to match all of our outfits. Actually, you know what? The boy sweaters from Thanksgiving, we haven't worn those to church yet. So I think I'm gonna put them in those, and then I'm gonna just wear like a neutral colored sweater with my clogs. I need to check the weather because this is around the time that we start getting bad weather in Dallas. I also need to get my eyebrows done, but I don't know what to do because I'm not getting them threaded ever again. Like that was the most painful thing I think I've ever done in my life and I will not be participating. I kind of want to put a little blush on just for fun. I love this for me that I'm like getting into a more girly era. My favorite lip balm. Oh, I said blush. I saw this at Sephora the other day and with the pink, the pink one, and I actually really liked it. I like put it on my hand. It's very pigmented. What are we gonna use today? Ooh, maybe I'll do like a sit down video and we'll just like play with makeup. Would you guys wanna do that? Like, ooh, you know what? Maybe I'll incorporate that into the next type of vlog because I have new makeup products that I got, but I haven't like tried them out on my skin and I wanna like practice doing my makeup because that way when I go on dates, I can actually be like cute, you know? I don't know what kind of brush. Oh, this is a foundation swirl brush. I need to go to Sephora so I can get the right kind of brushes for the makeup product. A little blush, a little blush. Yeah, I don't really like this brush. It's not doing what I need it to do, but that's okay. Just blend, 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 blend. I mean, why not? I did say I was gonna stop trying to look a mess when I go out of the house. Okay? Oh, blush never hurt nobody. Period. Period. Okay, lip gloss, blush, sparkly, sparkly. I just need to fix my one nail. Probably put my rings on and then, I don't know if I'm gonna do the sunglasses or not, but I need to go sunglass shopping, but I probably won't go till the summertime. Ding. Okay, put my laundry away and then we'll be headed out. So I'll probably talk to you guys in no glasses, glasses, in a little bit. We're gonna do a haul, but we're gonna do it in the garage because I, I don't, I don't even know. I like eliminate bringing everything in and then re-picking it back up. We got a lot of stuff. Okay, you can tell it's the first, first time. The box broke. Skittles. Maybe I should just post the receipt because this is gonna be way too much. Oh my gosh. Some of the stuff was random. I got this peach stuff to make um peach bellinis or do say peach things anyways it was just there okay veggie spring rolls which is gonna go in this oh did i even show y'all the deep freezer 
Look how big it is. It's huge. I did get a lot of bull stuff for the kids, little munchy snacks. And you know, I'm not an I'm not an almond mom or whatever those moms are. And I'm not one of those. Sorry about that. Chicken stock. I'm always using it for my gravies or to cook everything, so I just got a four pack. And then we got apple juice. I really don't think I'm gonna be able to do this for a haul, y'all. I think I'm just gonna show y'all in the car and point because it's gonna be too much to pick everything else. Okay, so we got like two packs of apple juice, sparkling apple juice, two boxes of Capri Sun, chicken noodle soup, yogurt, two packs of water, banana muffins, cookies, Pringles, gummy bears. I got like the seasonings I use often, onion powder, garlic salt, taco seasoning um this i want to say um, brown gravy because i use brown gravy a lot and then m ms these are like for my room snacks olive oil beef jerky gum toast avocado oil oh for the pans and then there's spicy ramen over there and shrimp ramen the hot and spicy and then well that'll do it wine rolls that are gonna go in the freezer more skills hey hey Macaroni, ice cream, we got strawberry, chocolate, and vanilla, sour patch, cookies, fruit snacks, fruit roll ups, diced peaches, Tide powders, this gummy is a lot of candy, sunny bees, paper towels, Pringles. I can't even tell what the rest of this stuff is. I think it's, oh, okay, this is the good stuff. This is like the freezing stuff for like the pizza pots, fries, the chicken nuggets, um, some wontons, and I also got, I think that was like the vegetable spring rolls. Oh, and then these hot wings. Hot wings. So. It's gonna be a lot to put away. That's why I just wanted to like do the haul really quick in the car or whatever. I still have to go to Kroger for like my small everyday things. I'm not ready to buy in bulk for like meat, eggs, and bread because I just don't want to go bad besides these because I know like we'll eat these and I'll put these in the freezer or whatever, but that's everything. It was a whopping total of like 12 hours. I'm like, how? But anyways, I won't be back, okay? This is for another month. This is what it is. I'm about to put everything away and then i don't know if i'm gonna go to Kroger tonight or not but we'll see i'm gonna put all the freezer stuff in the freezer hey girl it's a sunday and i'm getting ready to close out the vlog i know it's probably not going to be as long as you guys are used to but i'm hoping that in this month of january with just like trying out new content and things like that you guys will still be happy to see me you know what i'm saying but i did want to show you guys what i got from sephora really fast because I didn't uh, end up doing my makeup or anything this morning. We're home now and we're just like cleaning up Sunday reset type of day, getting a little bit more groceries from Kroger for things that we need. But before I go, I got some brushes. I got the Sephora ones. The ones that I actually wanted weren't in stock, but I got this foundation brush of 47. I really didn't want this one. I wanted one that was more for sheer coverage because I don't wear anything like super thick, but this is a number 40. Seven. Let's just open it up. The kids are upstairs being so loud, by the way. So I'm just gonna probably use this to apply my skin tint that I have from Danessa Myrix. And then I got number 96, which is the I thought oh, it's a blush brush. Yeah, I was gonna say I think I thought it was her blush. Ooh. It's giving a little blush moment. I feel like that's not even gonna do it how I want it, but that's okay. This one's number 96. 
And then I got a concealer brush because I think I'm going to start concealing like under my eyes and stuff like that. Oh, you know what I forgot to get? I want some eye. I need, okay, y'all recommend to me. I need like either eye patches or like an eye cream or something. But I heard when you turn 25, you're supposed to start using eye cream. So somebody recommend me an eye cream, please. I tried to look on TikTok, but I've never really seen anything that just was like stood out to me. The concealer brush is a number 71. It's giving dab, 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 dab. You don't rub, you like swipe, you dab. Dab, dab, dab. Anyways. Okay. And then I got the small bottle of this Kayali Juicy Apple. I really like the way it smells, but I want to kind of like wear it on myself a little bit before I invest in like the full big bottle. But it's just very fruity, very juicy, very young. Mm, it smells good. Aaron really likes it like, out the bottle, so I'm going to wear it a little bit and see how I feel about it. They also have another one that I liked, but they didn't have the small size, so I didn't get it. But it was like the something lychee one. I kind of like the pistachio one, too. I don't know. Anyways, okay. Last two things I got was the dream coat. So you just have to stay tuned to see what we're going to use this for in the next video, which is what I'm really excited about. And then I also got the glow recipe toner. I used to use this a long time ago and I actually really liked it. And I don't have a toner in my routine currently. And I really want to work on tightening up my pores and it's like a little bit smaller, like in this area around my face. So I got the glow recipe pore tight toner and hopefully it still works for my skin. But that's pretty much everything for this week. It's Sunday, so we're about to start a new week, new vlog, new me, new year, new day.